recently there has been talk of a new variant of the coronavirus which is spreading around in certain parts of the world the new variant called omicron has been labeled as a variant of concern by the who in a recent meeting the omicron variant started off somewhere in south africa or botswana the difference between omicron and delta and alpha variants is that there are multiple mutations on the spike protein so this is a virus which has multiple mutations as compared to an alpha and delta because this virus has got multiple mutations there is a cause for concern whenever a virus mutates there are three questions that we need to ask ourselves number 1 is it more transmissible number 2 does it cause a disease that is more severe number 3 will the vaccines work or if you have been previously infected will you continue to have immunity against this new strain these are the three questions that we need to ask for every new variant that comes in the first instance it is definitely known that the omicron strain is much much more transmissible and that is why there has been a spate of new cases in south africa there have been no reported cases that the virus caused a very serious form or a more dangerous form of the disease it is too early right now for us to make a conjecture whether vaccines are working against this virus strain or not it is very difficult for us to say right now whether if you have been infected once should you get infected again or not we do not know for sure these questions will take a month or two for us to be able to answer them accurately The beauty of the mRNA vaccine is that it's just a genetic code. It's a piece of genetic code that is fed on to a molecule and so it can be tweaked. Whenever the manufacturers or makers of the messenger RNA vaccine will be given the mutant strain, it is a matter of time before they will be able to find a new vaccine that will be effective against the new strain. The new strain has spread to plenty of countries across the world including Belgium, Hong Kong, Israel, and that is why countries are scrambling to put into place travel restrictions particularly for patients or persons coming from south africa what are we supposed to do the most important thing is what we have always advised and which continues to be the mainstay of our avoidance number 1 go out and socialize only if you have to number 2 wash your hands frequently or use hand sanitizers when you cannot wash your hands number 3 wear a mask in public places particularly where the place is crowded and number 4 maintain physical distancing wherever you are amongst other humans make sure you are at least 2 meters away so that your chances of carrying an infection become much less travel restrictions must be put into place quarantine restrictions rt pcr testing must be put into place so that we can contain the spread of this new mutant strain With over 1 lakh medical experts and the facility to teleconsult, experience clinic-like consultations on Practive.